uh, hello I would like to share with you one of the best characteristics in uh, in general for all versions which is actually could be very much useful tool for the 3d printing and designing anyway or uh, my course is actually is targeting the beginner level so once more if you are advanced or intermediate level it will be uh, like not so much useful for you to watch this video uh, anyway let's be just be short and direct in what i want to say uh, in such case actually 3d max is like 3d designing for the one who not using before 3d designing software that is very uh, kind of very nice and sophisticated software you can find versions very uh, advanced ones and most of the time i use 3d max 7 and 3d max 9 uh, which is now like um, not easy to be working on uh, windows 10 so that's why i shifted to 3d max 2015 uh, <clears throat> one of the phasers one of the characteristics that i usually use in my work is uh, is a pooling which is kind of uh, pooling sorry is a pooling which is kind of subtracting two uh, two uh, objects from each other uh, two 3d objects from each other uh, like in this case let's say this is box so I can just create it here uh, multiple box you can see here uh, nice box here so after that you can just adjust that box for whatever uh, measurements you want like let's say we make it like 50 centimeters uh, from all directions so this is the length here and height all the same and besides that box let's make something like uh, uh, a gap inside here so this gap we can make it through like um, sphere or something let's try sphere first so we can make sphere here and then by movement we can go from this is the top frame we can just move it a little bit out in this way we can make it just a bit in the center here and then let's just make uh, subtraction like uh, we need to make gap inside the box it looks like uh, a half sphere in such case so we go from here is uh, create and then we go from standard here you'll find the compound objects and then you go to the pollen and before you click it you have to click the box first uh, as i clicked it and then we can just like subtract two from each other so in such case i will pick object p here and while i'm i'm picking it i better i click on move it means that once i click here that sphere will be disappearing but it will leave the gap but if i make copy it means that and i clicked here then that sphere will be remain here but the gap also will be there so we can check first with move in such a case you can see here now there is gap but if i repeat like Control z to back and back again and i click on copy and p then this means you can see here even this if if i move this sphere from here you can see the gap already but the sphere is still there in case that you would like to like make cut for somewhere else so in such case we can make cut another cut in here So we can make the gap from several sides and again one more time oh sorry we can click a new new pole in here and then we can click also keep it modify and then uh, pick the objects and then we can click on the sphere and then move the sphere for the third part here on the other side here you can see it's two nice gaps in the box here and we can make another third one this here also in such case we can also make the pollen and then just again one more time this time just we can disappear the box uh, disappear the uh, remove the the sphere so in such case we can just click on move and then we click here 
So this means the box already having three sides with that gap. You can see it in the render. It would be looks much better. Here you can see it. And this, uh, while you are printing this for CD printer, this would be very nice. Uh, let me just show you how to move the file to 3D printing. Uh, it will be by export. And this new all. Uh, yeah, we need to save it. We can save it as just box. Save. Oh, no, sorry. Mm, that. Uh, or in hmm. uh, that's really interesting because I already uh, box. Oh, here our box is here. I don't know why it's a beard, but let's just make it again. One more time, export here. And then we can just export it on desktop by saying this is also box. But we will choose uh, OBG, the object extension, this one. And save. Then we click export. Then done. And then we can open our uh, 3D printer uh, software. In such case, I use uh, Flash Print, Flash Forge. It's called Flash Forge Adventure 3. It's a really nice uh, 3D printer for some small items that you are printing usually. And then I will load it from desktop here. And click OK. It asks you for some modifications. Then it looks nice here. Oh, yes. So you see this part here. So I just want it on the uh, straight part so I will just make it can also control it from here okay. that uh, yeah now this is this is fine this is fine and the most important is the scale here you can just uh, change it from inch to millimeter so this will give you the right scale but actually this is too big you know because I make it 50 centimeter and that printer can print until only 15 centimeter. So in such case, I will turn it back. I will just keep it small like this, 19 inch. So this is fine now. And then I can just like if uh, for sure I maybe I have no support, but I can also include the support in case is needed. Yeah, it's need some support actually, as you can see here. This to keep the while printing this is to not let the ink or the plastic I mean to fall down while printing these parts here uh, now it's fine and it asks you to save it then save so you can just save it now you can just make print and then choose everything you want go down here choose everything is fine the fill is 10 percent is fine then click ok this is the G code, so in such case you can just save it anywhere you want. I will just uh, save it on desktop. Save, then it will start to load. Now it's fine. Now I can see the layers here, how it be printed. See the layers. And voila, you will have your own objects now. So this is just an example, small example of how you can use uh, pollen in creating some very interesting stuff you can just let your imaginations go you know as far as you want and always time try to subtract these objects in your imagination first which is which which one is can be you know like uh, which one can be uh, uh, sorry how, how you can get your objects from whatever you want uh, i can show you some designs which i use usually in my work um, right, uh, like mostly such kind of equipment also and, and printing it in my lab um, in frequent basis sometimes 
so it's like uh, as you can see here oh sorry this is half in uh, this bit okay uh, as, as you see here actually that was originally the box you know and then I just make a gap inside and also I make for each part of this it also had gaps some some gaps inside here for each each of everyone you know and up here also this this all mostly all this had been 3 printed but has been 3 printed had been 3 printed in different uh, timing like each each part has been printed alone uh, you can see here this part for the motors to keep the motors in uh, also it has been tools box and have used pulling all to cut around here and trying to make it uh, fit with the motors and pumps also up here the same this was just like a cone and also it has been cut inside um, most of my modification as you can see here even the very smallest parts is mostly and mainly almost used uh, pulling modifier to just to cut objects and to make the sizes and all this was very precise the size was really precise accurate to fit with other objects that need to fit in so my point is like this is really very interesting feather and very interesting characteristics it's for sure is very old for the 3d max and it can be used on frequent basis but it's really really useful Anyway, good luck and next video I would like also to share with you some other interesting stuff that can be used and facilitate your work with designing and it can be make your 3D printing very looks very nice and not just looks nice it's also very effective because in my case I'm not using it for I'm not using 3D printing for the for art I'm using it for tools as a tools so uh, as for DIY biology so Anyway, thank you. Bye.